Hey guys, Iark Foundry here, uh, bringing you the first review for my channel, uh, and I do believe a good light source is essential uh, to be able to see what you're doing, be able to paint well, scratch build, any of that stuff. If you can't see what you're doing, if you're straining your eyes, it's not going to work out for you. It's going to be painful. Uh, what you got here in the beginning, I'm going to show you some specs, uh, show you the light range. That's the big thing, how far out uh, this light, uh, the light can travel as opposed to a circle lamp. To have your whole table lit and not focus everything in one hot point. Warm to cool tones, angles, adjustments, etc. You can see sizings, spacings. Alright, so here we go. We have the box. Uh, you're going to notice I'm not really going to do an unboxing on this because I got a little ahead of myself, but here's a nice sturdy cardboard, nice, thick, strong. Um, the foam inside, again, very decent. You'll see there's nothing there, but that's where it was. Got ahead of myself, got excited, wanted to open it, but that is some sturdy foam. Not going to break. They have to, do, they have to go out of their way to break that for you. Uh, simply just a startup guide, no Allen key for set screws. Now, this is what the clamp I wish they had in it. Uh, one of my gripes about it, not really a big gripe, but I like mounting things to the table as opposed to having it sit on top. Uh, but here it is, in all its glory, trying to photograph it in my small photo booth. Works great for models. Photo booth is a little bit too small for a giant lamp. Uh, get some nice shots of it. It reminds me a lot of, I mean, it's very, very sturdy, very heavy where it needs to be, light where it needs to be, if that makes sense. Heavy base. Keeps it from wobbling, feels secure, all the joints are pretty tight, but also loose. Uh, really nice silver on this one, I'll probably end up painting it. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun to just get there. Alright, here's the, to go through it, and I block it about halfway through with my arms, but you can see where all the motions are. Pretty fun, up, down, left, right, boom, boom, zoom in for no reason. Um, Alright, so here I popped it up on the bench, and it fits great for me. I mean, I don't have, it looks like I have more space than I actually do, but this fits great right along it. Very narrow, lights up the whole bench. Um, I don't feel like it gets in my way. That's the big thing. touch on and off is that silver ring, the chrome ring, ball joint, we'll get into that in the video in a second, uh, just has some real nice dynamic movement as opposed to just up, down, left, right, so if you get it down you can just push it all the way away from you, down towards you, you have a lot of motion up in the head there, just make sure you're not touching where the ring is where your hand, you're just going to be turning on and off all the time, so just keep clear of that, a little sensitive to touch, but uh, Right first, so I can see everything what I'm doing, and then uh, you know move around there. But it, it, it's a great light. I mean, you see it for yourself. Uh, it, it looks great. I'm seeing everything I need to see. And then here I have I popped uh, just in the photo booth for a quick second. Uh, you'll see more footage later. But this is just um, using the light as a kind of a, a light source without any um, distracting background. It's just uh, being able to turn it down. I turn down the t the uh, the brightness so you can see it's going from full. So you go from full to lowest right here, and it's just all picking up all the and then bright up again. You can see it's just going a little hot there, but uh, you'll see later once I've adjusted it as I'm going, just the shots of it are great. And uh, all right, here we go. So this is using it as a light source for photos. Um, you can see just it, it's very clean. It looks great. 
can't say enough about the light quality coming out of these LEDs, this LED strip. Despite any gripes I might have about the base or the touch sensitivity, you can't argue with how good the light looks. Ah, look at that. So what we have here is the pros. It's bright, it's crisp, you can adjust it up, down, whatever color spectrum you want. Uh, the light goes out where it needs to go. I don't see any weird dullness. Everything seems, the brightness goes out everywhere. Um, it looks pretty, it looks great. I think the LED strip will definitely last longer. Now cons, big one. It is costly. Having co good color corrected lighting is not cheap. Good light does not always come cheap. Take it easy, guys. Uh, I'll try to work on talking better next time. Um, and uh, just thank you. See you next time. Bye.